<laughs> All right, welcome to our scene on pediatric milestones or developmental milestones. These milestones always show up on exams and they're also very important clinically. So let's talk about these milestones. Now in this scene over here, we're going to take a look at this classroom. We're going to have a lot of fun learning mnemonics and easy ways to remember these milestones. We're going to talk about the gross motor abilities that the baby or child should have, the fine motor skills, as well as language ability. So let's begin with gross motor skills. So here we have a nice mnemonic, which I got from Easy Med Learning, on the gross motor abilities that a baby should have. And we begin with the head and we go to the toe. Let's begin with the head at three months of age. At three months of age, a baby should be able to maintain a head upright position. For example, if the parent is holding the baby, the baby should be able to maintain a head upright position. Then we come to six months, where we look at the torso. At six months of age, a baby should be able to sit upright. Then at nine months, we come to the legs, which reminds us of crawling. At nine months of age, a baby should be able to crawl. Whereas at 12 months, the baby should be able to walk on his or her own. And at 18 months, the baby, or perhaps even child at this point, should be able to run. All right, now let's talk about fine motor skills. So these numbers over here represent age in years. At the age of one, a child should be able to scribble, represented by this scribble over here on the number one. And this hand over here reminds us that a child at the age of one should be able to grab objects with two fingers. Then we come to the two, where we see these parallel lines over here. These parallel lines remind us that a child by the age of two years of age should be able to draw parallel lines. The circle over here reminds us that at the age of three, a child should be able to copy a circle. This cross over here reminds us that by four years of age, a child should be able to draw a cross. Not a square yet, that actually happens at the age of four and a half on average. But a child by the age of four should be able to draw a cross. And this triangle over here by the five reminds us that at the age of five years of age, a child should be able to draw a triangle. And then we get up to language, my favorite part. By three months of age, a baby should be able to say coo, but not yet babbling. That comes at six months of age. And this we're reminded because babble has six letters in it. They may perhaps at this age be laughing and squealing, but babble reminds us that at six months, they are babbling. At nine months, they're doing the nine letter word, imitation. That is, they begin imitating their parents and their siblings. This is also the age where they start to say mama and dada. At 12 months of age, a child should be able to say one to two words. We're reminded of this because 12 has one to two in it. By 18 months of age, they should be saying about 18 words. In some texts, you'll see eight words. So we could say between eight to 18 words. By two years of age, a child should be saying two word phrases or sentences. By three years of age, they should be saying three word phrases or sentences. And by four years of age, they should be saying four or more word sentences. A good thing to keep in mind is that by two years of age, 50% of their language should be understood by others. By three years of age, 75% of their language should be understood by others. And by four years of age, 100% of their language should be understood by others. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on developmental milestones. Take care.